It is Saturday morning, 71 degrees here in the San Gabriel's. I'm drinking my vanilla latte, sweet cream. They gave me hot. I got cold now. I had to change it the last minute. Sometimes you forget to say ice or cold, but anyway. And I got my egg pesto. I just do it as it is. There was a department store that I used to shop at between 1988 and 2001. I kind of stopped in the middle 90s because the service was getting bad. I think they had a lot of products. It was easy to get to. Mostly I had problems with the refrigerator. They had good deal. And I'm talking about Montgomery Ward. I had to look up my gum reward because, you know, I'm sure everyone else has been getting them. But the first time in many years, I got a catalog. And of course, they sell all kinds of products. Now, my biggest problem with them is that I used to buy refrigerators. It was wrong when I first got it. I had telling them to keep coming out to fix it. Brand new refrigerator. They didn't have a part for the brand new refrigerator. But I used to have fun with other items that I buy there. Bought some cheap jewelry. I used to play around with some little rings that they always send. I paid my two or three dollars, maybe a dollar for rings. But they had been around since 1872. It's actually two people. One guy named Montgomery, one guy named Ward, one guy named Montgomery, I believe. They start off as online, or should I say mail order back in the day. And now they're online in 2024. I think they've been on online since about, as it says here, uh, let me see, online, online, online. I know back when it first started, they were going online. They said they probably would go online. And I remember them filing bankruptcy in two, 2001. There were no more Montgomery Wards. Even though they were gone, I could not say good riddance. They had a lot of good product. I wasn't into what they was into. So it's like right now, bankruptcies. Cause that's what it was. They went bankrupt. And usually you can tell why when things happen to you, then it happens to other people. Service just goes down. But one interesting note, it was one main person's name, that was the ward. The, the other guy, I believe it says his name is John Bowman. But I think sometimes things get sketchy. They have a timeline on everything you look for. But I was quite surprised for Montgomery Ward sending me a phone 2024 copy. Well, a lot of things in it. But like everything else, you have to read this stuff constantly because it was actually two retail competitors. But just the same, like I said, but just the same, who owns Montgomery Ward now as the online retailer? Mobile? It's the Swiss Colony? That's the Colony Brands? I think that's it right there. Parent organizations, Colony Brands Inc. and Mobile Corporation. So when you think about all the things that you went through and they actually went bankrupt,
it had nothing to do with what's going on today, but it has everything to do with the quality of service. They were on top. A lot of these department stores start, started in the 1800s. They probably were doing very good service. Their call outs were on time. So if you had problems with your appliance, or you had problems with your electronics, they were there. Some other companies came and went around the same time the Federated, the electronic store. They had a few goods there. They were only around a short time as far as I'm concerned. They could have been around longer. Maybe I'll do one about them. Anyway, this is Rodney Shump. 80 my pester. I wanted to get this quick breakfast in because in about a couple of hours I'll be on the road. I'll see you in my next video. Montgomery Ward. I remember when. How about kidding aside? I remember when people said Monkey Ward. I don't know if they've been saying it all the time. Or it was toward the end of their reign. Monkey Ward, Montgomery Ward. Well, anyway, if you still like their products, there you go. Talk to you later, folks. I'll see you in my next video.